In this section, we're going to be looking at some of the editing functions inside of Pro Tools and get even more familiar with the edit and the mix window. All right, so the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to take a look at the main counter selector and the transport. Um, and these are features that you need to understand uh, if you're going to understand editing inside of Pro Tools. So first of all, let's just take a look up at the main counter selector, which is this uh, little set of numbers here that says main. And to the right of it says 11000. Uh, I'm looking at it in bars and beats right now. So that's why it's that uh, format. It's uh, bar one, beat one. And that just means I'm at the beginning of the session. If I click on this little drop down arrow here, uh, I have minutes and seconds. I can, I can switch to just zero minutes, zero seconds, or samples. And I can, uh, I can select you know, whatever I want to view my main time scale. And that just gives me a good indicator. If I click somewhere in my session here, you know, bar three, beat three. That just gives you a good indication of where you're at uh, in your session. And uh, below that is the uh, sub counter scale, which is is uh, just your basically your secondary uh, time scale. And I, I usually have this on minutes and seconds, just because um, you know I like to see the bars and beats uh, where I'm at in in addition to uh, the minutes and seconds. So that's just a, a useful tool uh, to use inside of Pro Tools. To the right of that we have our little in and out point uh, indicators here. Um, uh, this is, when, when you make a selection inside of Pro Tools, if I, if I grab um, you know, the second half of this, uh, this acoustic track here, let's say I click and drag, and I have that selected. Up here, uh, you'll see it, it, it shows that the start of that is bar 5, beat 1. The end is bar 9, beat 1. And the length of that is 4 bars. So that's really useful, um, you know. If you, if you, you know, let's say, you know, you want to just pu uh, punch in the first four bars of something, you know how long uh, uh, how long that is just by just by looking at this little length up here and the start and end time. So that's a really useful uh, thing to thing to know and, and realize. And of course, uh, you can also, um, in addition to just selecting here, you can click on these and 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 make your own, make your selection based on. Uh, just your, you can just enter it in. If I want to start at uh, bar four, beat one, and end at bar eight, beat one, I just hit enter, and it makes that selection inside of the session for me, which is a really cool, uh, really cool feature. So that's basically this uh, counter um, area here. To the right of that um, is a little mini transport. Uh, here you have all your basic uh, uh, features, and these are very self-explanatory. Stop, play, record, uh, fast forward, rewind. Um, these little um, arrows here will just take you to the very beginning and the very end of your session. And uh, this one here is uh, is a uh, puts Pro Tools online, which is basically it's useful for uh, if you're syncing to another uh, system. If you wanna if you want to um, run two systems simultaneously, or if you're syncing with an analog machine or whatever, that's what that's for. But you. Uh, most likely won't use it in just home recording. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and open up the transport. I'm going to go up to 